Alright guys, today I, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to uh, break this down for, uh, for a lot of you out there who are probably watching uh, the last video I put up about how the West was lost. Uh, you know, there's really nothing left to love in this country. So, when I say that, you know, this country <laughs> is, is a problem, uh, I don't mean just for the rest of the world. It's a problem for you, the American citizen, and me, an American citizen. And I hate that that is attached to my name because it is embarrassing at this point. Uh, but anyways, let's get into this. The First Amendment. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Hmm. Let's see what happens when you pray in school. Or abridging the freedom of speech. Hmm. First Amendment area. Free speech zones. Hmm. Looks like they have done that. I'm going to leave a link to this video because it's a... <laughs> It's a it's a pretty damning video. Um, you are allowed to have protests. You don't need permission to gather. Of course, they'd like to like you to think that they'd like you to think that this is an unlawful assembly. Okay, you have the right to protest if you want to get pepper sprayed, tased, beaten, broken bones. The Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So in case anybody here needs to know, what is the militia? Because there's a lot of people out there who are saying it's the National Guard because they've been listening to their mainstream puppets on television. I ask, sir, what is the militia? It is the whole people, except for a few public officials. <laughs> uh, in your face. What is the definition of infringe? Well, disobey or disregard something, to fail to obey a law or regulation or observe the terms of an agreement, encroach on somebody's right or property, to take over land, rights, privileges, or activities that belong to someone else, especially in a minor or gradual way. And that's precisely what's happening. Third Amendment, no soldier shall in a time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in a time of war, but in a manner prescribed by law. And recently we had this violated. Oh, surprise, surprise, July 5th, 2013. Uh, gentleman uh, had his home pretty much confiscated so that they could get the tactical advantage of somebody who was being accused of a uh, domestic violence basically so they wanted to to confiscate this guy's home so they could have the tactical advantage over a domestic dispute or domestic violence call ridiculous the fourth amendment the right of the people to be secure in their persons houses papers and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrant shall be issued but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the person or things to be seized. <sighs> Picture's worth a thousand words, isn't it? And uh, this goes on to uh, the Patriot Act and all this other crap. So yeah, Fourth Amendment's dead. God bless America. The Fifth Amendment states that the government may not try someone twice for the same crime, accuse a person of a serious crime without a grand jury hearing, or force people to testify against themselves. This is the key part. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of the law. NDAA equals prison without proof. President Obama signs indefinite detention bill into law. Indefinite detention. Very few countries are doing this. Without a trial. All right, Fifth Amendment's gone. God bless America. The Sixth Amendment of the Constitution. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, and to have compulsory 
process for obtaining witnesses in his favor and to have assistance for counsel for his defense. And this goes back to indefinite detention and NDAA. So, Sixth Amendment is dead. Seventh Amendment. In suits at common law where the value of controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Now, if you want to see uh, the violations of this, just do a little research into forced arbitration. I'm not going to get too much into this, but uh, basically it has a, has a lot to do with credit card companies and things like that. So, yeah. Bye bye, seventh. The Eighth Amendment. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. This goes back to indefinite detention, but we have some examples of cruel and unusual punishment, too. Cop straps. I can't stand that word. Cop strap women to chair, pepper spray her, and cut off her hair. Ridiculous. And this is just one example from February of this year. They're limitless. God bless America. Goodbye, Eighth Amendment. Ninth Amendment. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. We the people have more rights than what's in this document. That's basically what this is saying. Um, so when we the people demand the war on drugs end and they don't end it, that's a violation. When we the people demand that these red light cameras be taken down, that's a violation. When we the people don't ask for something and it's forced upon us, that's a violation. Obamacare. Hello? Anybody paying attention? Bye-bye Ninth Amendment. God bless America. This, uh, this, this just kind of ties into the Ninth Amendment where, um, you know, you have the right over your own body, but, you know, you've grown up in a system that tells you you don't. You've grown up in a system that tells you that you're just a puppy on a leash, and they're going to walk you when you need to use the bathroom, you know? <sighs> to give examples of this, uh, you, you know, if you're not wearing your seatbelt, you get a ticket. If you want to do drugs, that's your business. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Anyone who says that they can tell you what you can and can't do with their with your own body uh, that has no effects on anybody else. Anytime somebody tells you you can't have raw milk or you can't, you know, you can't, it's crazy. You have no rights. This country, you have no rights. And finally, the Tenth Amendment. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people states rights how many examples of this do we have don't buy any fertilizer with your credit card let's ask Google a question what is the freest country in the world? Oh, U.S. drops from top 10 freest countries in 2014. How about that? We're not even on the top 10. There's probably a third world country out there that has more freedom than the U.S. So what is there left to love? What are you so patriotic about? What do you pledge your allegiance to. It's not compassion. It's not common sense. It's not love. <laughs> it's to an idea that has been dead for a long time. I mean, I'm not saying that the idea was bad. I'm saying that it doesn't exist. Uh, to quote Low Key, the American dream only makes sense if you're sleeping. Wake the hell up. So this just uh, this kind of this just kind of goes with the last video. Uh, uh, why I am not a proud American, 
why I could care less about borders and countries. I don't see borders and countries. When I look at the planet, I look at the planet as land, sea, and air, and there's nobody who owns any of that. They make you think they do, but they don't. Uh, example, uh, just look out into the wild. Look out, look out into the wild. Do you see any other animals who claim to be intelligent, who are paying a fee to exist? Do you see the squirrel asking permission to build a home? Do you see the squirrel asking permission to get married? Do you see the squirrel asking permission to hunt or have a business, travel, uh, and, and even walk? You have to ask permission to walk. If you don't ask permission to walk, it's jaywalking. Oh, man. Ah, oh, God bless America. I love it, don't you? So they print your slavery off the printing press. They pretty much hold your kids as collateral on the debt. And the debt can't be repaid. So inevitable slavery, we're already slaves, but it's inevitable slavery, and it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Taxes are going to increase, 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 and you're going to have less and less and less. And you're holding on to this idea that America is great. I'm sorry, I hate to be the one to inform you, but you were born here. You didn't have a choice. It's an illusion. You have been tricked. Uh, and I'm not just talking about America. I'm talking about all these other people in their countries who are proud to be wherever the hell they were born or by chance. I'm going to judge this place on its substance, and it has none. It has no no real substance to it. Not anymore. It may have at one time, but I have been on this earth for what, maybe 30 years? And, uh, yeah. Since I've been here on this planet and in this country, there is nothing to be proud of at all. We've ranked 29th in the world in education. Matter of fact, the U.S. ranks somewhere between 36th and 29th in education in the world. And among developed countries the United States ranks 17th in the developed world for education that means that there is approximately 10 countries that are pretty much third world that have a better education system than we do and why is that I mean, they want you only smart enough to be able to pull levers and push buttons you're being dumbed down America you want to take pride in that you want to take pride in this monopoly they have over everything you buy, over everything you read, watch, see, and hear? You want to take pride in that? Go ahead. Um, I, I don't have the ability to lie to myself, and I'm not going to lie to myself, no matter how much it would benefit me to live blissfully ignorant. I refuse. I'm a human being of Earth. I don't see borders. What I see is programming. What I see is criminals running the world and that's the way it's always going to be because only psychopaths want to rule only the three percent of this world who are born psychopaths who have no empathy uh, they're the only ones who end up ruling because they're the only ones who could give it about you they're the only ones anytime you see somebody asking for votes they're psycho because they want to control you. The same people don't want to control anybody. The same people just want to be left alone, left to live, left to raise their family, left to live their lives. They don't want anything to do with controlling somebody else's mind or somebody else's body or somebody else's rights. Only the psychopaths. Government has killed more people in its history than exist on the planet today. More than 7 billion people have been killed at the hands of governments. The world doesn't need governments. The world needs to get rid of government. Continuity of government, please let it go. What is the most important words of the Constitution? We hold these truths to be self-evident, meaning nothing had to be written you were born knowing this. If you need a document, then you need permission, and you're a slave. Thanks for listening. I apologize if you're pissed off.